Happy day, friends! It is butterfly release day! Yay! Okay, so we were five for five on these butterflies. Paige got this for her birthday, and we ordered the caterpillars, and they started growing so rapidly, and then somebody told us they had 25 in their classroom, and only three ended up hatching and flying away. Um, but we're five for five. But Micah, I think I only see four of them in here. What happened to the other one? It's in the bucket. Oh, well, no, I mean, like, there were five, and now there's four. Do you know what happened? Yeah, do you know what happened to the fifth one? I left one? him out. Yeah, so Austin came downstairs one day, and Micah was sitting, one minute, sweetie. Micah was sitting out here on the steps, and she had opened it up and let one go already, all by herself. But we said we have to wait for Paige, because these were Paige's birthday present, okay? Okay. Here, Paige, you do the honors. Okay. Here, Paige. Do <laughs> the we don't want them to fly away. Well, we do well, want we do want them, we to, do fly want them to fly away because yeah, go they're gonna they're gonna live in our backyard now. Okay, well, Paige, you may want to take yeah, a step back. Wanna, you want to step so down. that you don't get no, no, scared no. and let fall. Them, let them fly out. Yep, you just let yeah, them but fly out. They all fly now. I know a perfect thing. They no. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right, just be very okay. gentle. Watch them go. Yeah, that happens when butterflies come out of their cocoon. Yeah. That one's climbing on the... Maybe we should set it sideways so that they can kind of get out a little better. Wow! He's learning how to fly! Wow! He's going to go live in that tree over there, I think. Daddy, can I have him? There he goes. Hey, what's that, Kira? They're so beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> wow. One sec, one sec. Where's he going to fly to? Let's do this one first, then we'll do the other one, Micah. Wow. He, he must really like you. Say bye, little butterfly. <laughs> bye. Okay, very still. <laughs> Where do you think he's gonna go? They're so beautiful. Did you guys name them? This one's Micah. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Goodbye, little guy. Oh, I didn't even fly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, geez, you blew away the all those pollen things and now it's like kicked up into my face. This tree up here absolutely dumps. It just, whoops. It just threw up all of this pollen-y stuff. And yeah. allergies are killing us this Look year. Look at the table. I mean, yeah. that's nothing. You can see how yellow stained the like, floor is. You, uh, it's everywhere. They did. But don't you worry. They're going to live in our backyard. They're going to love all these flowers, huh? Look, there's one. Did you find one? Oh, yeah. It's right on our house. Wow, what a... What luck. <laughs> You're right. See, look, he's just looking at the backyard, seeing where he wants to go. You want me to get him? Oh. Oh, okay. Now he's going to go check out the roof. What are the chances we ever see them one. again? <laughs> no. I need to go drink my coffee. I forgot. I forgot. Like, so unlike me. I forgot to make my coffee this morning. I must not have needed it so bad. I still feel pretty good, but I made it anyways because... I love it. <laughs> but I think Lucas has been actually sleeping better through the night and I think that's why I feel more rested. He's napping in his crib right now. And last night I told Austin like, what luck do I have that he slept from about eight. We laid him down a little bit late around eight and he slept, it was like 12.30 when I finally woke him up to feed him because I'm like, I need to go to bed. I'm waking you up, I'm feeding you. But I, but I kind of wonder if he would have slept even longer. That was like a four and a half hour stretch, which is really long for him. And I was so tired earlier in the day that I took a nap. And so I wasn't super tired by the time actual bedtime came around. And so I was just thinking like, man, I should have just stuck through it and I would have gotten a good solid four, five, six, who knows how many hours of sleep. And then he did sleep for another three hours, which was wonderful. And then he made up for it by waking up 
in just another hour. <laughs> but I do think it's getting better. I think his sleep is improving since we've moved him into his crib. Or um, my sleep. I don't know, maybe I'm feeling more refreshed. Maybe it's coincidence, but I don't think so. I, I think it's, I think I really needed that transition, maybe more than him. Are you going butterflying or jellyfishing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're not ready for that yet, kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready for that yet either. Oh, look, there's one over there, Paige. That big yellow one over there. Oh, look over there, right above the garden. You gonna go get it? It's Sometimes. In neighbor's yard. You gotta, you gotta get closer to them. I wonder how long she'll try. <laughs> the goal is all day. <laughs> It seems like we've been having some pretty consistent nap times lately, which is great, which is maybe why also he's sleeping better. But little man is awake. The girls just went down. So we are definitely on rotating nap schedules, which means chances are low that all three kids are going to be napping at the same time for at least like a year maybe. I don't know. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Did you have some good dreams in your nap? My goodness. Someone went to bed and woke up handsome. <laughs> How does that feel, knowing you're waking up so handsome all the time? You love Dad, don't you? Yeah, he does. He always gets so smiley when Dad comes around. Hello. As long as he's not hungry. <laughs> Hello, buddy boy. Good. Hello, buddy boy. You smiley guy. You love that nickname, don't you? Uh, uh, yeah, buddy boy. When you call him buddy boy, he uh, likes that. It makes him Something so happy. Something about it. He likes the sound of it. Buddy boy. <laughs> and then Paige saying, hey, buddy boy. So does Micah. Hey, buddy boy. Hello. Really? You got more sounds coming out of your mouth now. Yeah. When are you gonna say mama? We're zero for two with mama, so you gotta you gotta be the what's the word? You gotta be the exception. You gotta come through. Even it out you. a little bit. Give you some tummy time. Got some time. See if you, see, if, see if you'll roll over a little. You're getting pretty good on your tummy. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> You're getting it's been good. 20 seconds. Call it. <laughs> oh, Daddy is so funny, isn't he? You're almost there. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> You got that serious look to you, bud. Nothing's... Hey, buddy boy. <laughs> <laughs> that did it. That hey. was the trick. Hey, buddy boy. It must be something about that. Hi, buddy boy. Happy. Buddy boy. <laughs> buddy boy. Buddy boy. You know, we went out to dinner the other night and you were making all the waitresses fall in love with you. Because you're so smiley. Buddy boy. Everyone loves your smiles. Happy man. Little happy man. Oh. Are you going to laugh, oh. Zid? Are you going to laugh? Are you, are you trying? To... Oh. Are you that trying, little sound. Are you trying so hard to laugh? You trying so hard? Is it making you mad? Is that so? <laughs> you just want to laugh. You just can't figure it out. I know. <laughs> You're trying. Say ha 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 <laughs> he really is trying. 
<laughs> well, you heard him laugh the other day, huh? Just barely. It was so cute. <laughs> You're trying. Go. <laughs> You're trying. You're giving it your best go. You're getting tired now. <laughs> it's a lot that's, of mental. That's exhausting for your little brain. It's a lot of mental stimulation. Yeah. Huh? Trying to do new things is tough. He hits a wall pretty fast sometimes. <laughs> you can definitely tell when he is He's like mentally out. exhausted. You need a little rest? You need to have a little rest All now. Right. Let's go open Dad's Christmas present. Which is... My golf clubs. <laughs> He's so sweet, you guys. He is such a sweet baby. I don't remember the girls being so sweet like this. But I also just... Like, I was not mentally as with it. So I don't know if I just wasn't able to soak it in as well. But, man, he is sweet. You're a sweetie pie. You're just a happy baby. He really is. There was... Between weeks two and six or two and eight, it was rough. Remember, he cried a lot. Like he wasn't really technically considered colicky, but he he, he had a he had some crying every single day for for a little while, unconsolable. But as soon as that six or eight week mark hit, he has just been the happiest little baby. Your digestive system digestive system got itself figured out, huh? Yeah, he's totally checked out now. <laughs> he's like, let me be. I'm just gonna look at my owls. <laughs> Got my mental stimulation in for the day. Now you can. Zone you want to come watch us open a house. box? We got you figured out now. We got you figured out. We got nap times figured out. We got other things figured out. So don't switch it up quite yet. Give us at least a week or two. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Found these on the side of the road. You can tell by the rubber band. Actually, oh, I want to keep those rubber bands. For what? For my rubber band collection. You have a rubber band collection? Yeah, it's mostly asparagus rubber bands. But these look like good rubber bands. Wow, you even got a putter? Nice. Obviously, it came with a putter. That's one of the four things that you need is a putter. Of course, it's going to come with a putter. Does anyone play golf? Do we have any golfers in the comments? Oh, I bet you we do. It's so fun. It's all in the hips. It's all in the Get off me! <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Let's go give it a practice swing. I gotta edit. I gotta Come edit on, that first video. Right here, in here. In there? No, in the grass. Oh my gosh, you're gonna break something. Maybe. One thousand percent. I got plenty of room in this here. This is gonna go into the... This is why we have Definitely a tennis swing still. I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> I just broke my blister open. Oh, drat. Well, there goes that fun. <laughs> just kidding. But actually not kidding. It kind of hurts. <laughs> oh, did you catch something in your bag? Yep, it was in the floor. It was running away from its, way far away from its niffler den. Oh, when you're gonna make it go to back to safety? No, oh, I put it in my bag so it would stay safe and not run away again. Good idea. Looks like our uh, our road has uh, not lasted too good. And here's, I think this is Paige's trash can with hair. I think that's what she said it was. Wow, you can ride that thing backwards? What in the world? It looks like it's gonna rain any minute, so I don't really know if we're gonna be out here long. But Austin and I have just kind of been sitting out here while the girls are out playing, standing and looking at our house. Just staring at it, trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Um, so we knew that when we moved in, the stucco on the house had some damage and needed repaired or replaced. The stucco has never been like repaired or redone. It's like an older version of stucco. They have since 
updated the way that they do it or the materials they used or something. So we think we are gonna go ahead and like replace or redo just so that it holds up better and we won't have to then repair, 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 repair. You know what I mean? But here is the issue we're having. Um, and it's, and it's, it's tough. Um, and I would love to hear any of your experiences with newer stucco or if you've had kind of the same problems that we seem to have at this house. There are woodpeckers that have pecked holes in the back of our house on the stucco. Apparently woodpeckers like the sound of stucco when they peck at it. We don't want to replace the stucco if we're going to have the same issue with woodpeckers. So we have been looking at vinyl siding and also fiber cement, like hardy board or whatever that's called. And so we're thinking of going one of those routes because it supposedly is better for woodpeckers. If you guys have had issues with woodpeckers at your house, please let us know if you have found something that prevents them. Um, our neighbor, same issue, like he has dealt with woodpeckers on his house, maybe even worse than we have. And he just replaced his stucco. So far, no problems, but we don't know if we want to risk that if there's a better option. Fiber cement is supposed to hold up really well against woodpeckers, but it does require a little bit more maintenance. It might need painted every 10 years or so. I don't know. Really, every 10 years painting it isn't that big of an issue, but the lower maintenance, the better. Um, fiber cement in general, though, says it should hold up, like aside from the painting, says it sh should hold up like 40 to 50 years. So that is like a ridiculously long time. <laughs> and since we're pressed with this issue of needing to repair or replace, we wanna do it sooner than later so that like no potential damage is caused to, um, in the interior of our house. That would be terrible. And so we've kind of been throwing around like different ideas for our house, whether we wanna do like lap board or hardy board or like up and down or side to side. Like there's so many possibilities and we've even thrown around the idea, well, if we're gonna do lap board, that is kind of a more modern look, um, at least around here. And so then is it gonna clash with our red brick, which is a more traditional classic look? And so then we've thrown around the idea, well, what if we do a lime wash on the brick, making it look more gray or white or something like that? And I just don't know because I really do like the classic look of stucco and brick. I feel like it's pretty timeless and I'd hate to do something that's super trendy that's gonna make our house look dated in five to 10 years when this is such a classic look, I guess. I don't know, we're really torn, really torn on what to do. And it wouldn't be as big an issue if the dang woodpeckers wouldn't peck on our home and, and, and break it. And then I feel like it would be an easy decision. We don't have to consider a lot of the things that we're considering right now, but those dang woodpeckers. Jess has taken Paige out on a date. So I am on Lucas duty. And I just got to thinking, little bud, what a perfect time then for this toy. Do you remember this toy? What is it? I don't know. You don't know? Do you want to help me put it together and we can put Lukey Book in it? Because this toy has so many fun little memories in it. And I'd be so sad if I didn't record your first time in it. Hey, look. So let's set it up. What do you say? Look. <laughs> All right, let's have some fun. Okay, at the very bottom of this, there's four legs. Can you get them out for me? Uh -huh. Here, I'll get one out. Actually, you can just get all the pieces out. Can you get all the pieces I'll for me? Him. Yeah. All right. Here's another leg. Here's one. Two. Here's two. Three. Sounds like this thing could use some new batteries. Four. Four. Solid. Okay. Do you remember what this thing does? Yes. What does it do? It sands and the baby can stay on. Yeah. Do you remember when Paige was in this thing? When she was a little tiny. When she was just a little itty bitty kid? Yeah. Look, even bounce. Okay, this might need to come up. Or is that as high as it goes? There's no way that's as high as it goes. I 
mix. Oh, what is this? Yeah, you remember now. Whoa. <laughs> Look. Daddy. Now, if I remember, right? Cut. Here, put your hands on. It's beak and duck. Your beak and duck? I know, Mr. Lucas. <laughs> oh, are you just a little hungry? Little DJ Lukey Book. <laughs> is that fun? Is it kind of cool standing? <laughs> Daddy, guess what? He what? just spinned. Did he? He spinned this. Oh my god. He did it again. Was that fun? He tried something. Is that fun? You want music? Or Dad's picking it. The music? Daddy really likes the music that he makes. Does he? Oh, oh, are you done? Here, I don't think he does. All right, all right. You hungry? Okay. I'll just play with it then. All right. Oh, we got DJ Micah on the set list. Okay, you play them a set. I'm going to go change his bum, okay? 